Now, going on to the business blunder of the day, you have Trader Joe's recalling almond cookies because they might contain rocks. Now, it looks like these recall treats are the ones that are called almond windmill cookies and dark chocolate chunk. It looks like the specific sell by date, the almond cookies sell by date are between October 19th and 21, and the dark chocolate one are October 17th and 21. Well, actually, reverse the two. So, if you go to the store and you see that sell by date, that means there's a fair chance that there's rocks in those cookies. Now, it's one of those interesting things where thankfully, rocks are, the people who shop at Cherry Joe's perhaps might enjoy that because rocks are usually locally sourced and they're 100% organic. I don't recommend eating them, but I mean, there, there's some upside. So they're not lying when the package says organic. Now, it looks like specifically stones or pebbles are likely to be contaminated in food products during the harvest season. This is according to Safe Food 360. It also coincidentally helps with the weight of the product since when you look at, when you look at most food products, they're not actually, you don't get it based on the number of units inside of it. It's based by the weight, the actual weight of the product. So this certainly helped that weight as well. But this is the second or third recall Trader Joe's has had this year when it comes to health food related products. And for a company that advertises itself as a boutique, high-end, high-quality, organic store, one would think they have extremely high qualities, you know, standard qualities, and they would perhaps put, a, you know, put a lot more focus and attention to ensure things like these don't happen. I mean, the simple quality control test might help out a little bit, and just kind of peer, peer inside the container, you know, see through, and see. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. There's pebbles in there, probably not prudent to accept the shipment of food. So to have a premium grocery store continue to have business blunders like this and continue to have health related issues, I believe salmonella was, or they have some poisoning with the last product, that's the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers so in the next couple of 30 days. So I really appreciate everyone taking the time to subscribe. Also, don't forget to like and comment. Those things also greatly help the videos get shared more often. Also. Don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your enemies, heck, tell your coworkers again, tell your enemies again. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.